Being small and being strong are not mutually exclusive. Just look at these ants. They don't seem to care that they're only a fraction of the size of their meals. Ants are everywhere. They're so common that we often don't think twice about them, unless they're pillaging our picnic basket, of course. Though ants seem ordinary, they're extraordinary. A field ant's neck joint can withstand up to 5,000 times its weight. That's kind of like an adult human holding a Boeing 747. So what makes ants so strong? How are they able to build bridges? And how do they communicate to make it happen? There are about 12,000 known species of ants. While most of them are in the tropics, they live all over the world. There are so many ants that their total weight is about the same as all the humans on Earth. That statistic might make your skin crawl, but ants are an integral part of our planet's health. They pollinate, disperse seeds, and help circulate nutrients through the soil. Without them, many ecosystems would collapse. But what makes ants crazy creatures is their strength, especially their powerful necks. A research team at Ohio State University glued some ants to a seedy-sized centrifuge at their necks. I'm not sure I like where this is going. As the centrifuge spun, it applied force to their necks. It wasn't until the centrifuge reached forces of 3,400 to 5,000 times their body weight that the ants' bodies separated from their heads and flew off the centrifuge. This doesn't prove that all ants can carry 5,000 times their weight, but it does show how strong their necks are under extreme force. Other factors help them do such heavy lifting. Ants' muscles have a large cross-sectional area. This makes them incredibly thick for their body sizes and distributes their weight better. If you compare their strength to their body weights, ants can produce more force than larger creatures. It gives them the ability to carry things as heavy as baby birds or lizards. Ants even inspired a new branch of science called microbiotics that blends biology with engineering. And army ants are architects too. Despite having minuscule brains and not much cognitive ability, they can build bridges. When a traveling colony reaches a gap, the first ant slows down. It gets trampled by the ants behind it and freezes in place, creating the first step across the gap. Then the next ant reaching the gap slows down, gets trampled, and freezes. This process continues until the ants bridge the gap, allowing the rest of the colony to walk safely across. Now that there's teamwork. Oddly enough, army ants don't always build bridges that would minimize the distance the colony has to travel. Instead, they may choose to go around the gap. Now there's an idea. When they're not traveling, ants typically live in social colonies of hundreds to thousands of individuals. They prefer to live in hills or underground and carve complex tunnels and chambers. Because they rely so heavily on their colony, communication is key. They use chemical signals or pheromones to tell each other things like, follow me to food, or attack the intruder. They tend to walk in a single file line, so they follow a trail of pheromones each ant releases as they walk. The pheromones also help them recognize each other and distinguish their social classes. The queen's pheromone is unique to her. While field ants are relatively harmless to humans, bullet ants are another story. Find out why this particular ant has a reputation for having the most painful insect sting in the world and how to survive it. Powerlifting and building bridges are what ants do, and that's what makes them crazy creatures.